Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, Give Men This, they're not mind readers for gosh sakes. We men aren't mind readers. Okay. Uh, really quickly, if this uh, content resonates with you and you've been interested in hiring a coach, but you go, gosh, I can't afford it, check out my link to my VIP group called Midlife Love Mastery. It's for $20 a month. You can have direct access to me where you can sh ask questions and I shoot videos based on the questions you ask. Check out the link to my VIP group called Midlife Love Mastery. All right, you have to do this because we men aren't mind readers. <laughs> So, you know, first off, really quickly, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I highly recommend you check out several other videos. In almost every video, I introduce a book or two or three or four that I recommend you reading. Now, the reason being is that I've come to realize that for folks in their midlife, those people in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, that's the predominant demographic that I talk to, most men are effing clueless when it comes to the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. And quite frankly, I wanna say women are as equally clueless when it comes to the mechanics. I mean, we all love the idea of the movies where there's chivalrous and there's attraction, and then we're just gonna live happily ever after. But in midlife, in your 20s and 30s, that's great for all those movies because most of the time you're going to be raising a family. You have a, a common um, priority between the two of you. Let me repeat that. You have a common priority. So most people invest in raising a family in their 20s and 30s. What happens in your 40s and 50s and 60s, you come to the plate with a lot of luggage. They used to call it baggage. I call it luggage or stuff. And then they're trying to figure out how to make this thing work. And because they don't understand the, understand the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship, and I was about to say, getting ahead of myself, men don't. This is why I tell women all the time, you are the emotional leaders of the relationship. You are the emotional reader, leaders of the relationship. In fact, you are in charge of your relationship destiny. This is what I say in a lot of my other videos. So what I'm going to share with you is what a one of your uh, one of the my YouTube followers recently wrote, and what's interesting that this isn't the first time I've heard this. I've been hearing this over and over and over again, and I want to read this to you. So let me put my glasses on. And this follower says this. This is critically important for understanding um, understanding men because we're not mind readers. And what she wrote: Hi, Jonathan. I met this great man online. And we went out on a couple we went out a couple times. I mentioned to him to him about your work and suggested that we read eight dates together. He agreed, we both purchased the book and started reading last night, each at our own time, but agreed to read together one chapter a night. I have to say, I am so excited with my hands up in the air, Jonathan style, LOL. Because even if this goes nowhere, meaning the relationship, at least there's hope. I've been heavily following your advice lately and making a conscious effort to search for that 10% relationship ready man. And it's so refreshing to know that it takes time, but there's still some of you left out there. Thank you for all you do. Now, in a second, I wanna share why this is so critically important. I've been getting message after message after message of women reaching out to me for those that are in relationship saying that they've introduced the book Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. Eight Dates. This is the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. And the idea is that you both do it together. You read a chapter and then do the work, the assignments together. Now, here's the thing. You guys can all cavalierly go, he's going to be chivalrous. He knows what he's doing because he's come on strong. But aren't you tired of the guys who pull away and lean back and need space? Because they don't know what to do. So you have to do this because men aren't mind readers. You have to set the example. You have to set your standards. God, I'm yelling. Okay, you have to set the example. You have to set your standards. You've got to tell men what the effing to do. And by the way, if you're going to allow the penis into the vagina, and I know that sounds kind of crude, but let's get real. If you're going to have regular sex together, then set the standards up. Set your, set your, 
set the pace of where the relationship is by reading these books ahead of time before you get too attached and too deeply invested in someone. And you should definitely be reading the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This teaches you how to have healthy communication because the reality is, is most human beings are terrible at communicating with one another. There I go yelling again. All right, come back to my loving. Come back to my loving. I'm trying to be as loving as I can. In fact, speaking of loving, I'm going to pitch my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? by Jonathan Hasley. The link below. By the way, there's a link to uh, schedule a free discovery call with me. There's a link to the VIP group. There's a link to my book. There's a link to my podcast. There's a link to all my recommended books. It's all in the description. Check out every single link. All right. I get excited because I want to shift your perspective. I want to shift your experience. I want to help you shift because here's the bottom line. Most men are good guys. Look at most men are good guys. My dad, you know, my mom and dad married 66 years, but he was clueless. My mom, you ask my brother, my sister and I, she was in charge of the relationship and not from a masculine controlling perspective and not from feminine leaning back. She was just, she just set her standards and my dad followed instructions because we're not mind readers, okay? So when you give guys instructions, here's the good news. The wrong guys, he's gonna run away, he's gonna run away. And the right guy, he's gonna lean in. Now, I know you would all like to find that 10%er guy, like a guy like myself, who's already crystal clear on who he is and what he wants. But there's good news is there's about 40% of other men in, the, in this 50% bracket, there's 40, 50% are relationship ready and, and capable. The other 50%, they're, they're, they've got issues. And, you've got to, and if you need help figuring out which ones have issues, schedule a call with me. That's my area of expertise, okay? All right, so I know you'd all like that 10 percenter. It sounds great. All those married couples who are giving advice on, you know, giving advice on YouTube, they're all coming from that 10 percenter. I'm here to help you with that 40 percenter. That guy that's got potential, he just needs you to guide him a little bit and he'll be the right guy for you, I promise. Or at least I'll endeavor to, is that an endeavor? I can't promise you but I promise you, you're gonna have a better experience. And just like she said, if it doesn't work out, that's okay, because she tried a different way. And that's my invitation for you. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big gigantic giant bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a pillow or a teddy bear and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.